breakthrough, research on lifespan extension took off. Within the next few years, we're going to add 10 to 20 years to life. We know that this is achievable because there are already humans that live to be past the age of 100. They're called centenarians. Uh, these people aren't just lucky. It's genetically controlled because their children are also more likely to live past the age of 100. People who live past 100 get sick much later in life and for a shorter period of time than people with a more average lifespan. And if we can find out what these secrets are, then we can develop drugs that mimic them for the rest of us so that we can all live longer and healthier. Investors have started betting serious money on finding what those secrets are, funding a flurry of new companies focused on the science of longevity. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I mean, does anybody really want to live forever here on Earth? Now, we all know the elites want to live forever here on Earth, but those of us who are saved, we already have what they desire. Those of us who have salvation through Jesus Christ, we have eternal life. So really what they're trying to do is obviously seek living on Earth forever. Who in their right mind would want to stay here forever? Well, only a Satanist would, right? Because as the world gets worse and worse, I mean, could you imagine being here a hundred years from now, what it's going to be like? Seriously, we're all going to be gone a hundred years from now. I mean, there's, all right, let's say 150 years from now, right? We can guarantee if the world still is around, everyone listening to this, including myself, will be gone. We won't be here. But could you imagine what the world will be like then? I mean, we've already got five-year-olds changing their genders, What's going to happen 150 years from now? People always think about the technology and stuff. Well, we know that they're going to have microchips inside of them 150 years from now. And we know transhumanism is going to be a big thing. Now, that's what this is about, transhumanism. And it's funny because you actually will find real truth in articles. Now, we all know the Daily Star. You know, it's known, all these types of tabloids are just known as you know, pretty much just garbage, trash, crazy type of stuff, right? We actually find more truth in these than you'll find on CNN because it's really the same thing. I mean, all news is tabloid, trash, garbage. And you can see from this headline, humans to download their souls onto microchips so they can live forever. And they have souls and forever in caps lock. And people will hear this and they'll be like, well, that's super crazy, right? But they're actually planting seeds for this to become a reality through transhumanism. Now, I know it sounds crazy, right? Downloading your soul. Do I believe somebody could download their soul? No, I don't believe somebody can download their soul. But who knows what the type of sorcery and witchcraft, what these people have planned. I know my soul is mine. And just like your soul is yours, we all have souls, right? And we give our souls and we give our, our lives and our faith to Christ, and through that, we have salvation and we'll live forever. These people, no, they seek to live here forever. They want to be here watching, uh, you know, grown men dating newborn babies. Because, I mean, that's how insane things will be 150 years from now, right? Uh, uh, they want men to be giving birth to babies. Who knows what this type of freak show science, you know, science and witchcraft they have. Men will probably be giving birth. And the people who are born in that time period, they won't know that that's wrong or weird or anything like that. But hopefully the trumpets sound by that point, because I couldn't even imagine. I mean, I'll be projectile vomiting all over the place if I was alive then. So this article talks about Richard Skellett, a founder of Digital Anthropologist and an expert for future of work, has warned a future in which British workers have chips inserted underneath their skin. Now, obviously, this is already going on with microchipping. And it says the process has already been trail with company biotech fitting 150 implants in the UK and Sweden based uh, companies as well. This is also happening in America. And it says, but as humans and machines become more in sync, it could open up all sorts of possibilities, including being able to live forever. Now, obviously when you ask a Christian, I mean, a real Christian, someone who's saved, none of us want to, we already have eternal life. We will be living forever, right? But not here on earth, but a zombie is going to be offered this type of immortality. People are going to think that they have this stuff through transhumanism. They're going to think it's the coolest thing ever. Oh, you could live 50 more years if you get, you know, uh, you get this chip implanted in you and you won't get cancer anymore and you won't get all these diseases, right? I've talked about it a million times. Many people have. These are types of deceptions that they're going to use on 
what is already a dumbed down society, but 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 years from now, we're talking about people who aren't even going to be able to have any common thought. I mean, I shouldn't even say that because people today don't even have any thought. Most of the things they say are just regurgitated things like be yourself, be true to you, right? They hear it on TV. They say it. Nobody even knows what they're talking about. I mean, what does it mean? Be true to you, right? How many times I got to say it? Be, who would you not, who would you be if you weren't being yourself? I mean, duh, uh, the reality of it is, though, that they're actually not themselves because they're just copying and impersonating what they see on television and what they're told to act like, right? And that's what these catchphrases, all this nonsense is. So the Daily, the Daily Star, and obviously this isn't a credible source, but I want to read this article because there's truth behind the article as far as transhumanism and what they plan on doing with man and machine, right? I've talked many times about Google being able to, alt, uh, to, to be able to manipulate DNA strands. I mean, these are the things that these huge tech companies are doing, okay? Why would somebody like Google, right? When people think of Google, like, oh, it's a search engine. It's YouTube, and it's got videos. Meanwhile, they're, you know, trying to create smart cities, and somebody will say, well, okay, that makes sense. But then on top of it, they're trying to manipulate DNA. Wouldn't somebody say, whoa, why would they be trying to manipulate DNA strands? Huh? I mean, think about the stuff that they're doing and the boatloads of money. Now, obviously, these people print money. That's what the Federal Reserve's here for, right? And we hear, oh, we're all in debt. Yeah. Um, imagine what debt they would really be in. They just keep pressing print and handing each other money so that they can do all this stuff and experiment and use, you know, us as guinea pigs and rats. So, uh, this guy, Mr. Skilled, explained there's a lot of talk at the moment about microchipping employees, which I've been covering, and there are some companies that are actually doing that. I can see benefits from it, but it also opens up a whole roster of other things like being reborn. Okay, so you can see the con, you know, the the under the underlying theme too, being reborn, right? Obviously, you know, mocking a bit of Christianity, right? Because we're all born again when we become saved. The microchips from biotech are similar to those for pets and are implanted in the flesh between the thumb and forefinger. Chips will be able to store medical data and other personal information. And then he adds, living forever might sound crazy at the moment because the technology isn't quite there, but we already have the technology to clone. The only thing that is, uh, the only thing is that something may be an exact replica in terms of DNA, but it may be nothing like you because we are made up of both nature and nurture. Well, I would say the nurture is all to do with learning. You are a product of everything you have experienced, your likes, dislikes, and that's arguably your soul. Your soul is you. It's your beliefs. It's your values. Well, your soul is more than that, but that's another debate for another day. I'm going to continue reading on here so you could listen to some of this stuff because a lot of it too is what I've been talking about with that, with being scaring people into the massive cyber attacks, taking your identity and stuff and scaring people into getting chipped. He says, so imagine now that you have the chip and the chip has been collecting all of your personal details, all of your learning that effectively becomes our soul. It may sound ridiculous, but you may be able to take that chip out and put it in another body and live forever. It's not actually that ridiculous, is it? But the tech chief warns of other problems with microchipping and says it'll be possible to be spied on 24-7, which, I mean, they already are doing. But people willingly don't seem to care that we're being spied on 24-7. They have no problem giving up their access to everything giving up their personal information. I mean, they don't care. They really don't. They're like, who, what does it matter? You know, who's nobody's really watching. They don't, cause they don't believe that <laughs> any of these things exist. These secret societies, you know, they don't, they have no, I mean, you tell people to start with looking at see the secret societies, look at the federal reserve and stuff like that. They're so dumb that they can't, you know, they can't get past the, the nonsense they've learned in school, which is just nonsense, worthless information. Does they also warn people of hacking the chips and making uh, people suspect suspect blah, 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 susceptible? Excuse me to crime. Usually, I would edit that out, but I'm not gonna. What will happen to individuals when their body chip is hacked? Identifications could be stolen without the individual even being aware it has happened. It could mean that you are cloned without even knowing it by a hacker. Hackers and thieves being able to track the movements of people to enable both digital and physical theft. Our home security being breached. While hackers know we are on a holiday or at work is a risk too. Why would we even want this information to run, you know, to, to risk the, uh, to run the risk, I should say, of being hacked. So that's what this article is talking about. But you see how it's in one of these types of, uh, you know, tabloid, you know, kind of junk places like the Daily Star. And again, all of these, you know, you'll find just as much garbage in the Washington Post, but there's actually more truth in these tabloids because transhumanism is real. These are the plans that the elites have. You know, we talk about 
uh, you know, them drinking blood and feasting off of children. That isn't for immortality. You know, that is for living as long as they possibly can for adrenochrome, you know, for the high that they get off of the blood, for the anti-aging, they believe the benefits of blood and anti-aging, which I've covered a dozen thousand times, you know, from Kim Kardashian to American Horror Story, even having the witches wear blood. And they always talk about how witches, you know, used to cover their face in children's blood to anti-age. Okay. But this talking about transhumanism and mixing man and machine, this is really what their goal is for a superhuman race. So the truth behind tabloid is, you know, it's there. It exists. Now, like I said earlier in the video, why would anybody want to live forever here on Earth? I mean, it's beyond me. But I'll tell you one thing. It's not going to happen because the trumpets are going to sound one day. And all these people who think they're going to live forever without salvation through Christ have another thing coming. So if you do want to live forever and you're listening to this video, find Jesus Christ. Accept him as your Lord and Savior because that's the only way you will have eternal life. And if you're somebody who doesn't want that and you want to live here forever and watch, uh, you know, watch the uh, LGB uh, move in on your town and all this other disastrous stuff that's going on from sheep walking around aimlessly, texting, playing Pokemon Go, walking off cliffs. I mean, hey, have at it. You know, if you if they create some technology that might enhance you for 50 extra years, you know, and you want to go that route, enjoy it. Me, I'm good with uh, eternity in heaven. With I'm, I'm good with salvation. And having eternal life off of this earth, you know, off of this, this period, I should say. So remember, folks, that's the only way that you will ever have eternal life through Jesus Christ, not through transhumanism like they believe, none of it. So don't fall for it. And don't be afraid or fear death, especially if you're saved. Don't, you know, don't, don't you know, I get a little, like, you know, I get a little wordy sometimes. I'm not saying you should hope you die tomorrow. No. It's frustrating. Enjoy life the best you can while you're here and try to help others wake up and realize the truth because that's our job as, as messengers of Christ is to tell other people the good news that they, Jesus Christ died for our sins and we all can have eternal life. And that's the message we share. And that's the goal of, you know, for me every day, you know, trying to get through it is trying to help uh, lead somebody else to Jesus Christ. Because remember, none of us save anyone, only Christ saves, but we can help guide people or maybe snap them out of the trance they're in, slap them in the face and wake them up to what's going on. That's really the point of this channel. So these people want to live forever here on earth? Have at it. Me? I'm good. Thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.